I don't know what's going on with Marvel. I've got to be honest. A lot of the movies have become what I can only call candy. Like you look in a sweet shop, you see the nicest looking sweets. And you just pick them up because they look nice. I kind of checked out when I watched um, Shang-Chi. The reason I checked out after that is basically because I couldn't believe they made a movie about Kung Fu and the Kung Fu in it was dog shit. When you have films like Kung Fu Hustle, which is probably one of the best superhero kung fu movies ever made i'd like to say that i do love that movie when you have movies like that with a director that can make kung fu look absolutely magic and then marvel come out with that absolute dog shit i just checked out and i've not even bothered watching quantumania i've not bothered watching the marvels I didn't want bother watching Black Panther, the second one. I, I just... I just give up. I've not watched any of the series. I, I, what did I watch in the series? I watched Wanda. And I watched the first season of Lock, Loki. I, I, I watched the first episode of She-Hulk. I checked out immediately. And I've just kind of given up on it. And it's a shame. It really is, because... Even though there was a lot, there was a few bad movies in the original Infinity War saga, i.e., let's say the Dark World, Dark World was it or whatever the second Thor movie was. Looking back on it now, was it as bad as some of the shit they're bringing out now? And it just wasn't. I really enjoy the first Thor, Thor. A lot of people don't, but I, I thought that was a brilliantly funny film. Um, even though he was serious, I thought his comedy in that was quite good. But I've just checked out, and I'm just wondering what the rest of what 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 are they up to? Because you've got Spider Man. Now Spider Man's basically a Sony Sony production. But it's still part of the Marvel Universe. You've got Marvel doing Sony Marvel. Not Marvel themselves, but Sony Marvel doing this whole villain nonsense, which is absolute dog shit. The first Venom film was the only film that's actually made any money. But I think that was more of a novelty than anything else. Because with the, all these Sony Marvel films... They're all to do with Spider-Man. And as I've said before, it's like a human walking around with a heart. You can't do it. And it's like the heart of what these villains are meant to be. They're missing the main character, which is Spider-Man. So I can't get with them either. And I just don't know what they're doing. Marvel needs to buy all its Sony shit back. They need to make a solo Hulk film. A proper one. I'd beg Edward Norton to come back. I really would. Jesus Christ. Um, the Marvels. I like the young. Uh, oh, I watched that. Miss Miss Marvel. I actually enjoyed that, even though it was made for teenagers and whatnot. I just sat and watched it with my lad, um, and he's only fourteen at the time. We kind of enjoyed it. It was it was different. Do you know what I mean? I mean the way she got her powers was all whack and that, but we didn't really care. It was you know it was a Sunday thing. One thing is some something to watch on a Sunday, uh, and we we kind of enjoyed it. Um, but I just don't know what they're going to do. I don't know how they're going to fix it. You've got Deadpool coming up, and that's full of Fox characters from the old X Men universe. That's not going to fix anything. It's going to be fun. It'll make some money. People will enjoy it. But it's not going to fix anything. Because immediately after that, 
they've got that Ag Agatha Witch thing coming out. Again, I'm not interested in it. I really, I'm just not interested in that. They've got, I think they've got Iron Heart. Not interested. And my sons are older now, so they're not interested in it. And there's this whole thing of they need a female, you know, superheroes and that. It's not what young lads want to watch. I know that's, you can say that it's wrong that they should want to watch female heroes. But the kind of female heroes that young lad want young, young lad wants to watch is like they're not these. It's just not these. It's not. It's not what young lads want. Now I understand that they're trying to aim it towards a female audience, but I'm going to tell you now, most females are not interested in superheroes. There's a lot that are, but most are not. They think they're ridiculous and stupid and they won't go to the movies and watch them. I can guarantee that this last, the last Marvel movies, last Marvel movie, the Marvel's movie, I can guarantee you more men went to watch that than women did. You can guarantee it. And it's a shame because the first part of the whole Marvel's thing when it came about with Iron Man and such forth, it was fantastic. You looked forward to the next movie. You looked forward to an end credit scene where it joined up the bits. And after Infinity War or Endgame, such forth, none of the end credit scenes match up with what's going on. The whole thing's a total mess. I have no idea what, what, what's going on. I Literally, that's why I, I just checked out. And I don't want to check out. That's the thing. I don't want to check out. I want to keep watching them. But I just, there's nothing there. I don't know what, what it's doing. Are they all just individual movies now? There's this multiverse thing. But I don't know how they all, all the movies, how does Shang-Chi connect to the Marvels? How does Marvels connect to Black Panther? How does Deadpool connect? To, it's just, <coughs> it's too much. And I just check, I just give up. But I don't want to. And it's a shame. Because I really, I'm, I really now if they pick it up, then I'll have to go back and I'll have to start. What I'll have to watch up, but I don't want to be having to watch the TV series and the movies because that was a big thing with the Marvels. Is nobody's? I can't imagine everybody's seen the the, the Marvel series and uh, Wonder to understand who the the Black Lady was. It's confusing. And it's saddening because I love superhero movies. I love DC. I love DC movies as well. Whether you love them or hate them, I just like. I do enjoy superhero movies, um, and it's a shame. It really is a shame. I just don't know where Marvel's going. Where do you think they're going? Because to me, it's all up. It really is. It's just a whole mess. I own the whole first Avengers up to Endgame. I own all them on Blu-ray. So that's as far as I'm going. Until they sort the shit out. Because what they've got coming in the future, I'm just not interested in. Let's say, for instance, um, Captain America. Now, they've got Falcon has been made into Captain America. Okay, that happened in the comics. Great. But he's just a human. And he's not a big human at that. Now he might have a shield. And he might have wings. Whatever. But one big guy smashes him in the face with a good connection. And he's out cold. That's, he's, not got no, he's not got no super resilience or anything. He's just a normal guy. So I don't, I don't understand where they're going. I, really, I just don't get it. He's, a, he's literally just a guy with no powers. I mean, Iron Man, you could understand it was in a coat of armour. So you could understand where his strength and his resilience was coming from. But, but, but Falcon is just a dude. That's why Ant-Man did he mean. <laughs> Am I not wrong? Am I wrong? I don't know. You tell me. But we'll see. We'll see where we go. For me, it's all just... I hope they fix it. I really do. Anyway, see you in the next one. Love you. Like and subscribe if you're interested. If you're not, it's okay.